What's up, poopers, and welcome to the first episode of BDO Weekly. Now, what is BDO Weekly, you ask? I decided that in order to get more regular content on my channel, I will be posting a weekly report on all news, guides, and information for your viewing pleasure every Wednesday during maintenance. And if we happen to have a slow week, I'll even throw in some lore. So today is Wednesday, April 20th. Let's get started. First, we gotta talk about the obvious. Today is the long-awaited Musa and Mewa update, or Blader and Plum if you're a rebel. If you're curious about the skills these classes bring to the table, you can check out my basic guide, but expect a lot of damage, a lot of mobility, and lots of everyone's favorite lovable iframes. Yay, iframes! Hooray! Since people have been holding on to Laverto and Kazaka boxes for these guys, you can expect to start seeing them level 55 and geared up within the next few days. The Musa patch also brings with it a free character slot for your account, extending the max to 10 and increasing drop rates for Lavertos and many accessories along with some new costumes. You can check out the full patch notes linked in the description. In other news, a CM recently confirmed that there is some RNG on how much health and mana each character gains when they level up, which means that no two players have the same base HP and MP pools. This is done intentionally in order to have all characters unique, but many players are screaming apocalypse when they find out their buddy of the same class and level has more HP than them. Fear not, soon we will all be dying in one hit anyway, and small differences of 50 HP will not be all that significant. Reddit user Kinseb has put together a nice spreadsheet compiling variances in HP and mana to give everyone a rough estimate of what you can expect. Feel free to contribute by filling in your information with a screenshot of proof. For horses, several players have been lucky to already get tier 7, and a Reddit user named Bowplan posted some interesting data mined information that seems to point to the colors of your horses having a say in the ultimate outcome of their offspring. Those seeking the fastest horse will want to try and breed a white horse. Hooray for horse racism! Now, none of these have been officially confirmed. Like most information in Black Desert Online, it'll rely on collective information from the community, but if you love your tinfoil hat and min-maxing horse breeding, you'll want to take a look, link in the description. In Korea, they've recently announced a neat update to the auction house system that will essentially implement buy orders, eliminating the threat of bot sniping and giving people more reasonable opportunities to buy what they want or sell things at more appropriate value. How it works is if an item on the auction house at any point has zero listings, players will gain the ability to place a buy order on that item for whatever amount they want as long as it is above the current highest listing price. For example, if you want to buy a Kobolinus crystal and there's none on the auction house, and the last highest available listing was 1.8 million, you can place a buy order on the Kobolinus for 2 million. What will happen then is the next time a Kobolinus is posted on the auction house, the player who placed the highest buy order on it will automatically purchase it. So if your 2 million was the highest, you get it automatically. But if someone put a buy order of 2 million and 1 silver, he'll get it instead. I think this system has been a long time coming and I am interested to see what items spike in value and how much, such as Kobolinus or Laverto or even simple crafting mats like Black Crystal but we haven't got a confirmation on when we will see this coming to NA. But that's all the important news for this week. In addition to news, I would love to add a small segment to BDO Weekly to show screenshots or videos of the week, seeing as how the world is beautiful and one player capturing it by themselves is pretty hard, so why not share? If you are interested in having a nice screenshot shown or a cool video, Send me an email at domoran at mail.com and I'll put the cool ones in next week's vid. But until then, I am booping out. Boop.